That's algae. And most people with swimming pools fight against algae. They put chemicals in to stop algae. We're actually encouraging algae. Our, uh, algae is, is one of the basic chains of life. It is the, the starting block of the building of life in a pond. You go from algae, which is just made with organic matter and sunlight, to zooplankton, which are the tiny microorganisms, like the soil organisms, but they're aquatic, they're in the pool, in the mud. They create the, the soil in the shallow lakes and ponds, one of the fastest soil creating mechanisms in the world, underwater, builds more soil than, than, than forests. And then on from there to crustaceans and fish. We can introduce those little crustaceans, but starting with algae, we've got fish here that are algae eaters. They're booming on algae, and algae is full of omega-3, which actually builds their bodies rich in omega-3, a health-giving food for us. So a conversion from a problem to a solution to a beneficial food. This is too easy. This happens almost automatically. You have to facilitate these creative situations for a productive end result. We can do this. Not a problem. Straight conversion. Swim with pools to food. Well, what a scene. Here we are. We've got a beautiful lemon in front of me. I've got aquatic plants in the pond, fish in the pond, vegetables behind, a persimmon tree up, up over my shoulder. It, 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 it's all happening. And, and what's interesting that is happening that we don't notice and don't, often don't realise is at the bottom of the pond, at the bottom of the old swimming pool, we've got soil creation and that is a byproduct of this whole event. And every now and again, we can take out the really high quality soil at the bottom of the pond, which is anaerobic, has no air in it, bring it up, put it through the compost and convert it to fertilizer. So there's all these exchanges and cycles and, and events that we can take advantage of and harvest a byproduct of really healthy food. Fantastic. Yeah, a hook and a line and, and I'd have a meal out of there in no time. And it wouldn't be long before we just gain more and more and more food out of a system like this. Not only growing fish, but it's also growing vegetables on the side here. We've got vegetable gardens, chickens, we've got fruit trees. We're overlooking the whole system from the house. And you can still swim in it. Why would you have a poisonous system? Why would you have chlorine? Why wouldn't you have it cleaned up by biology? Why don't you swim with nature, live with nature, and let nature produce a surplus that gives you your sustenance? Real life.